What's up guys, Ryan here. So today I'm doing a video that comes by request. Someone had asked me in response to the video I released where I talked about how I make progress every single day on my print on demand business, because at a minimum, I'm always pushing new FBM print on demand products to Amazon via the Printful and Seller Central integration. Uh, a lot of people I think are a little bit intimidated by Seller Central and the prospect of having to pay $40 a month, but guys, Unlike Amazon Merch, when you push these products to Amazon, they stay there forever. You don't have to worry about them falling off because they didn't sell. Where on Amazon Merch, that is something that happens. So they asked me what my keyword approach is for selling FBM POD products that's fulfilled by merchant print on demand products on Amazon through Seller Central. And this is a simple question for me. I'm, I always keep it real with you guys. So what you see here is not my product. This is just somebody else's, but um, it works perfectly for this example. So the brand you can't change. When you apply for your G10 exemption, you have to keep the brand the same. So we can't touch the brand. It's not like Amazon Merch where you get a new brand every time you make a new product. All right, the bullet points right here. Printful will generate these and add these for us. I do not take the time to go in and edit these unless it's like a really good, really well selling product. If I end up going in to edit these, like it's because it's one of the most successful products that I've ever sold. So that's a really rare occurrence. And even if I do go in a lot of times, like all I'll do is add like a checkbox emoji, um, like the check emoji. I just go in and add like one of these emojis right here to the, uh, to the front of it. So it would look something like this. See what I did there? Except Amazon, if you add this, will change that to uh, to green instead of it being the flat checkbox. All right, so I don't go in and edit the bullets though. That was just theoretical. Almost never do that. All right, title is where I do all my keyword optimization. And guys, I keep it simple. So this hat says like a boss. I'd probably personally title this hat. Uh, I always like to, well, they, so sometimes Amazon, I'm sure you guys that have been selling have noticed this. They'll front load the title of the product listing with the brand. It doesn't always happen. I don't know why it does sometimes and doesn't other times. Uh, lately, it's been happening about 80% of the time. So four out of five times, it'll put my brand as the first keyword. So I would call it a uh, like a boss hat. And then I'd probably say something like embroidered trucker mesh cap. And then if you wanna add any additional keywords, you can also do that in the title. Um, they don't give you, you know, you keep want to keep your title like no more than like 80 characters. Now I've seen weird restrictions. Like I've had to, at times to go in and fix suppressed listings because I think it was during a period where Amazon actually did change the length of the title. And so some of my listings then were a little too long, but I think you can get away with like 80 characters now safely consistently. And 80 characters should be enough to put in whatever relevant keywords you need uh, into that title. So for me, like a boss hat and then saying embroidered trucker mesh cap is pretty accurate at describing what this is. Um, I don't know, like in this example specifically, what else would you guys use to describe it? Like a boss, like say confident maybe, but no one's searching like confident hat. So it's probably not going to get you any additional sales. Um, what else would you put in? Like you could say like gift for and the word boss is already in there. So you don't need to say gift for boss, but you could say gift for manager. Maybe that works. So get the workplace gift for manager at workplace. So this, if you wanted to add the extra couple like long tail keywords would work. So this is a good time to remind you guys of the Amazon suggestion expander free Chrome extension. So if you do want to grab a couple long tail keywords that people have searched before, uh, you can attempt to use the Amazon Suggestion Expander Chrome extension. All you have to do is it's free. Just install it, and then when you start searching in the search bar, you'll notice that it will suggest keywords before and keywords after and long tail keywords. But as I suspected, when I type in like a boss hat, uh, literally the only thing it says is one keyword before, which is floss, because everybody loves flossing, floss like a boss. So maybe you'd add the word floss to get indexed on that additional keyword. Um, maybe not. It's your choice. It's not really relevant to this hat because our hat does not say floss. 
But yeah, that's it guys. So I managed to talk for a lot longer than I needed to about my keyword strategy for FBM products. You can, you should be able to get all the relevant keywords that are going to drive relevant traffic to your listing in the title. And if you can't, you can spend extra time going into the bullets and it's just for me, like time is money. And I've got so many other things that like, I think are better suited uh, to re have a higher return on investment of my time. So I don't bother doing that. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, hit me up below. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing. And I'll see you at the next one.